Hello! Let's do some math. This is solving multi-step equations. You are definitely going to need a paper and pencil or something in front of you to do these problems. Two. So I'm going to start with some distribution right there. That's going to give me 10 equals 2h plus 4. Yes. I feel like I skipped it. I'm, go I'm going. I'm making a video. I'm making a video right now. Come on, Mr. Barr. <laughs> All right, so there's my distribution. What would you like to do? I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. It's going to give me 6 equals 2h. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So h equals 3. So a little distribution. This one's going to start with some distribution. 3, g minus 6 equals 3. Some distribution, 3g minus 18 equals 3. Adding 18 to both sides, 3g equals 21. Dividing both sides by 3, g equals 7. Okay, a little bit different type of problem here. H minus 4 over 3 equals 1. Since it starts its life as a fraction, I'm going to handle it by multiplying both sides by 3. This is actually 3 over 1 times H minus 4 over 3. These 3's are going to cancel because 3 divided by 3 is 1. And now I'm left with H minus 4 equals 3, adding 4 to both sides, H equals 7. What does it mean to be a solution? It means that if you plug it in, it will work. So what's 7 minus 4? 7 minus 4 is 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1. So it works 7. Fantastic. Some distribution. I'm just going to write it down right away with the distribution. So this is 3v minus 18 equals 9. Adding 18 to both sides. 3v equals 27. Dividing both sides by 3. v equals 9. Okay, so 2 equals 7 minus, I'm going to write this as a 1t. When I see just a negative t, I'm going to write it with a negative 1. I'm going to start by subtracting 7 from both sides. So negative 5 equals negative 1t, dividing both sides by negative 1. Negative 5 divided by negative 1 is positive 5, so t equals positive 5. negative 3, ooh, interesting, over h equals negative 1. It starts its life as a fraction, so I'm going to put it in parentheses and multiply both sides by the denominator. So I have negative 3 equals negative 1 times h. Who's the variable h? Who's bugging it? Negative 1. What's it trying to do? Multiply. How do I fight multiplication division? I'm going to divide both sides by negative 1. Negative 3 divided by negative 3, excuse me, negative 3 divided by negative 1 is a positive 3. Six over j equals 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by j. So 6 equals 2j. I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Okay, a little distribution and combining of um, like terms. So I have, I'm going to do the distribution 3p minus 18 plus 1 equals 10. We'll combine those. So I have 3p minus 17 equals 10, adding 17 to both sides. 3p equals 27, dividing both sides by 3. p equals 9. You can't see what I'm doing. Four equals negative 12 over m. It starts its life as a fraction, so I'm going to put both sides in parentheses. The m's cancel out. I now have 4m equals negative 12, and I'll divide both sides by 4. So m equals negative 3. Same type of problem. 
actually not the same type of problem. But it starts this life as a fraction, put both sides in parentheses, hit it with the four, right? Because this is actually four over one times this guy with the four in the denominator. These guys cancel out. I'm left with 16 equals j plus nine, subtracting nine from both sides, j equals seven. Two n minus twelve. I started with the distribution, adding twelve to both sides. Two n equals eighteen, so n equals nine. Ten minus one negative one y. I'm going to put that negative there so I don't get confused. Equals negative nine. Subtracting ten from both sides. Negative one y equals negative nineteen. Dividing both sides by negative one. Oh, that was a really big negative. So y equals a positive 19. Twenty-six, here's the distribution. Two v plus eight minus twenty-two. So distribution. Now I'm going to combine those two terms. Twenty-six equals two v minus sad, fourteen. Adding fourteen to both sides. 30, actually that's 40, isn't it? 40 equals 2v, v equals 20. And what does it mean to be a solution? It means if I plug it in, it will work. I'm gonna check this out, 20. 20 plus four is 24 times two is 48. Minus 22 is 26, okay, I like it, 20. Just checking it to make sure it's good. Wonderful, okay, I'm gonna do one more. Start with the distribution, that's gonna give me nine F plus nine times 45, nine times 50. It's 450, so it's gonna be 405. I'm gonna check that with the calculator. 405 minus nine equals negative 90. So I have 405 minus nine. So I have nine F plus 396 equals negative 90, subtracting 396 from both sides. I'm at 9f equals 486, negative 46, dividing both sides by nine. I'm to negative 54. I'm going for it. Go for it, Bar. Great job. Okay, that's it for this one. Thank you for watching. Hopefully it helped.